You guys, I want to wear these glasses, but when I put them on, you can see my ring light. Okay, anyways, fam. My name is Victoria Garrick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so my room slash life is a kind of a mess right now. I wish I could show you guys. Actually, I'm gonna take B-roll on my phone. Here we have an empty water bottle. We have swatches for the couch. I'm choosing for my new place with Max. Just a million gift cards need to spend. A gift that hasn't been given. Camera battery, pen, computer. Another half drink water bottle, Christmas candle. Kleenex box, trash, new glass from Amazon that I'm wearing. I mean, a check, it's a, it's a mess. Okay, we have the chair. You know it, you love it, you have it in your room. It's the place you throw all the stuff you don't wanna put away. And then, of course, I just have equipment, gum, stuff. So my room's a mess. But anyways, the reason my room is a mess is because um, I've been messy. But also, in literally 20 days, Max and I are moving into our new apartment. And so mentally, I'm kind of just checked out of this room. I'm kind of like, oh, okay, like it can be a mess because I'm leaving soon, which is kind of bad because I have like <laughs> three more weeks in it, but it's okay. I also thought my room being messy and me not really cleaning up for this video was perfect because we're talking about our 2021 resolutions, reflecting on 2020. Okay, anyways, we're gonna get into the rest of this video. And before we do, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are really enjoying the chaos that is this video. Hit the thumbs up because, um, because I said so. And also you can follow me on social media if you want to. Okay, now into the video. So when we talk about 2021 resolutions, New Year's resolutions, usually people think about goals, like let's set goals. I don't love goal setting or I have a love hate relationship with it because here's the truth. I set goals my entire life. When I was in middle school, I had goals for high school. When I was in high school, I had goals for college. When I was in college, I had goals. And it was like, I wanna go to this school. I wanna get this grade. I wanna be a starter. I wanna beat this team. I wanna play this position. I wanna do this, this, this. And I was so achievement oriented that I lost the, this is getting real, real quick. I lost the fulfillment and joy that came along with the process and everything else in life. I don't wanna make myself achievement oriented again. That's one part of it. The second part of it is someone once told me, someone once told me, Ron Boss Everline came on my podcast, Real Pod. He's amazing. He is Kevin Hart's trainer. And this guy is so motivational. I definitely recommend you guys listen to that. But he said on the podcast, Real Pod, which you can listen to anywhere you stream podcasts. You guys hate me right now, don't you? On Real Pod, Boss basically kind of alluded to this point that if you set goals for yourself, you are also maybe setting limits. Because usually a goal is something that you know you can do. What if you could have done five times better? What if you could have gotten here, but your goal was this? So, and he also basically said, if you're so focused on a goal that you set for yourself right now, you might block out or not see the opportunity or the new path in something else. Like if right now, my 2020 Victoria self says, okay, for 2021, I want to host a TV show. Okay, that's extreme. <laughs> and then let's say I'm so focused on TV show, TV show, TV show, that maybe midway through the year, someone comes like a quibby quibby failed so this isn't a good example but like a quibby and uh was like victoria we want you to do this short form or we want you to do a youtube series and i was like no 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 my goal was tv show and then i turned down an opportunity or i i turned down anything else that wasn't in my plan so i don't know it's an acquired mindset and a <sighs> should i nap and then come back and film this I think goals can be great, and I also think they can be harmful. So the way I'm going to approach 2021 is not with concrete goals. What I'm going to do is try to set new habits. We have two categories. We have habits, and then we have an intention. So I'm setting a big intention for 2021. I've thought long and hard about this, and it is what I want to theme my year around, and the thing I want to improve the most. So we're going to start with the habits, because, you know, I'm just going to start small and like really get you guys excited for the goal. Okay, so I have three habits I've decided I want to focus on. Habit number one. <laughs> this is going to be so hard for me. I want to wake up at 7 a.m. every single day, except the weekends. I am good at waking up early if I have something to do. Like, usually I will schedule phone calls and interviews at 8 a.m. or 7.30 so that I have to get up and it forces me to start my day. But when I'm just filming or doing content, I don't have someone else to rely on for the day's work. I will maybe sleep in till 8 or 8.30, which I know doesn't even sound late, but I just feel lazy when the first time I sit down at my computer is like 9.30. I just feel like I've wasted so much time. And also when I was a college athlete at USC and we had to run in the morning, we would run at 6 a.m. 
and be done at like 6 15 because it was just like sprints I used to like shower and be dressed for my day at 6 30 and my first class wasn't until 8 and I was like I have so much time right now to do homework to read to talk to people so I just think the earlier you wake up the honestly the more hours you get back in your day I'm gonna try to do this just for the month of January and um, just force myself for the month of January you are getting up at 7 a.m. and we'll see how it goes so that's the habit number one I want to get into the second habit I have is be more productive with my days I am productive uh, I am productive but I am also a procrastinator can you be both things? I am a productive procrastinator. I'm a procrastinating productive. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is if you give me a deadline, I will get it done. But I could have got it done days before it needed to be done, but I wait to the last day to get it done, even though when I get it done, it's great. So I would like to make my life easier by doing things ahead of time and really spacing things out. I think something that will help with this is I have a tendency, and you guys have seen this in my bullet journal video and also my uh, day in the life of work, but also I have a tendency to like start my week and then I just like stop. So I gotta fix that. Oh, this is a good example, okay. So I actually did good this week. I have a tendency to write down like everything I wanna do in a day. And you guys are probably thinking like, you look really productive with this list. Sometimes, anyways, what I'm trying to say is I will write down on Monday, I need to do this, I need to clean my car, I need to blah, 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 I need to send these posts, I need to pick this content, I need to edit this video. And then like by the end of Monday, I've only done three of those things because I really didn't even have time for all seven. So I want to be more productive at the start of the week being like, okay, these are the three things I need to do on Monday. Uh, these are the three things I need to do on Tuesday, whatever they are. And then here's a list of extra things I can do if I finish these three tasks. So kind of just being more organized with my planning of the work I need to do with my daily life so that I can be more productive at the end of the day and get more things done. I feel like this is not making sense. But in my head, basically, I want to figure out a way that I can organize my calendar better and hold myself accountable better so that I can be more productive and I can feel like on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, I'm really, and Thursday, and Friday, I'm really doing the most. Okay, I wanna be doing the most. And this is actually a good way to be doing the most. You know, sometimes people are like, you're doing the most, and it's not a good thing, but in this way, I do wanna be doing the most. The third thing I want to get in habits, so my third and final thing, is I want to be more active. I took a lot of time off of working out and moving my body after I graduated. I made a video about this and the struggles I experienced as I went from college athlete to uh, NARP. <laughs> Have you guys heard that? Non-athletic, regular person. I took a lot of time off and then I slowly got back into it and I've recently been starting to find my groove. I would say I work out twice a week, but usually one of those workouts is like a really long walk. And I just feel like I gotta be doing more than that. I think a really long walk is great as like my recovery day or like a full, an extra day of the week. But my habit I wanna start is three days a week I want to be working out. I wanna move my body. I'm thinking the majority of this is gonna be Peloton. I'm so grateful that um, my parents got a, oh, but I'm moving out. My parents got a Peloton and I've really been using it a lot. I'll probably just, the good thing is I'm only moving 15 minutes away. You guys are like, you sound like such a loser. But my parents live in LA and I work in LA, so what am I supposed to do? But I'm moving out and I'll probably come back with the Peloton. But I also can do more EMOMs at home. If you guys have ever done a 20 minute workout with me, you would know that those are pretty killer. And I think the walking is great. Um, maybe I can incorporate like some sprints in the walk, some squats, all that good stuff. So I wanna create a habit of working out three times a week. Last but not least, I want to share with you guys my intention for 2021. Can we get a drum roll? Can we get some suspense? Sit back, prepare yourself for my intention. Wait, I want to tell you guys why I'm choosing an intention. Sorry, <laughs> okay. So an intention, is how you want to show up. You guys, I used to love saying like how you show up in life, show up, but then Claire Crawley on The Bachelorette used, I want a man to show up for me so many times that like it really just tainted the show up word for me. In this context, yes, how you show up, who you are, what you're about every single day. That's your intention, your intent, right? As a human being. And Dr. Michael Gervais is an incredible high performance psychologist who came on RealPod and he talked to me all about intention setting. And actually he shared the four things you need to do before you get out of bed in the morning, which have been uh, life changing for me. So if you're interested, I will link the podcast below. It's a great interview with him. Anyways, 
He talks about an intention, how you want to be, how you want to show up. If I think about what I want to embody for 2021, it is gratitude. My intention for 2021 is to be full of gratitude and constantly find the blessings and what I can be grateful for in every single moment and situation. I know that gratitude can come. What did I put? I'm, I didn't mean to put air quotes around gratitude. I meant to put air quotes, air quotes around the like cliche, like be grateful, count your blood. Like everyone says those things, but you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't really feel it. I want to feel the gratitude. I want to feel grateful. I want to orient each of my days around being grateful for what I have. If 2020, we're getting real now. If 2020 has taught me anything and taught us anything, it's just to be grateful for what we have because, you know, times are really tough. I think in general, I have a tendency to look for more. How can I accomplish more? How can I be more? How can I do more? I want to adapt an abundance mindset. An abundance mindset, I'm pretty sure, basically means I have it all right now and I don't need anything else. Um, you know, and I think, and also gratitude leads to happiness. One of my favorite quotes ever from Dr. Brun Sony is happiness is not a place you arrive to. It's a state you cultivate. So I believe that by finding things to be grateful for, I will see an improvement in my life, my overall mood, my happiness. Um, I think it's a really important thing to do. And I want to give you guys a challenge. This is an exercise that can help you find the good in the world and be grateful. And the researcher of good exercise is basically finding three good things from your day. Right now, I want you to think about three good things that have happened in your day. It sometimes can be a struggle to find one thing, but really sit there and think about three good things. So if I have to think about three good things from my day, number one, um, I was at CVS earlier today and the cashier went to see if she had extra coupons to give me a discount. I didn't even ask. That was really nice of her. She did not have to do that. Number two, my little brother was going to drive me somewhere because I don't have a car. So I'm glad that he's taking the time out of his day to do a favor for me. And number three, my mom texted me a picture of an inspiration and said this could look really cute in your room, you know, my new room at the apartment. So she was thinking about me and went out of her way to send something to me. So this is an example of three things that are good that I found in today. And as you do this, you will be training yourself to look for good. So as you get used to writing down your good things, you'll wake up and you'll be like, okay, I'm looking for good. Or you'll maybe notice yourself be like, huh, that man held the door for someone. That's a good thing. Or it can be as simple as, oh my gosh, a cute little um, dragonfly uh, helped another dragonfly. I don't know. So my challenge for you, I want you to comment down below right now three good things from your day. I know it can be hard, but I think it'd be really fun to fill the comment section with good things and also each do a gratitude exercise together. So that is what I will try be trying to do every single day. That is my intention for 2021. Now, if you guys have any intentions, goals, habits, things you want to do for the new year, comment them down below. I'd love to share. I'd love to hear what you're up to. I'd love to root you on the same way you guys support and root me on every single week on this channel. I'm so grateful. I am grateful for you. Can we take a moment? I am grateful for you. Just to think that someone is in their room right now watching a video with me. My intention for 2021. It's just, it's surreal that you are taking the time to do that. So thank you. Thank you. I know the YouTubers that I watch and I stream and I, uh, you know, admire them and I follow them. And I just, I, I think about how I feel that to James Charles and some of you might feel that to me and it blows my mind. Um, so I'm so grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please comment down below. Tell me something good. Tell me something you're grateful for. I would love to respond. I will be responding to all the comments so that we can connect. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. I actually had a lot of fun making this. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. And also you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter if you want to keep up with everything I'm doing throughout the rest of the week. And last but not least, my podcast is called Real Pod. You can stream it anywhere. And this week I released an episode with my two best friends in the whole wide world talking about our 2020 reflection and our 2021 goals. So definitely check that out if you want to hear more about what I'm looking forward to in the new year. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Oh, and happy new year.